distinguished guests, faculty members, ladies and gentlemen, a uh, very good morning to all of you. Welcome to the 64th Foundation Day and the 15th Professor Raman Vishwanathan VPC Innovation, instituted by Vallabhai Patel Jest Institute, University of Delhi, in the honor of its founder, founder director, Professor Raman Vishwanathan. Professor Vishwanathan, also known as the father of chest medicine in India, was solely responsible for activating the Faculty of Medical Sciences, University of Delhi, and for planning and establishing Vallabhai Patel Chest Institute. His entire career was characterized by deep passion for the advancement of medical education and dedication to research. I would like to start the proceedings of the day by inviting on stage our distinguished chief guest, Professor Vishmohan Katoj. Professor Katoj is Secretary to the Government of India, Department of Health Research, Minister of Health and Family Research. He is also the Director General, Indian Council of Medical Research, ICMR, New Delhi. We welcome you, sir. Our guest of honor, Professor Jadeep Prasad, has uh, not been able to join us, unfortunately, because of some urgent engagement. He has sent his uh, best wishes for the success of the program. I welcome uh, Professor Devendra Kumar Gupta, our guest of honor. Professor Gupta is the Vice Chancellor of King George's Medical University, Lucknow. We welcome you, sir. I welcome Professor T. N. Tannan, Chairman of the Governing Body uh, of Vallabhai Patel Chest Institute, University of Delhi. We welcome you, sir. I welcome uh, Dr. William Silvamurthy. Dr. Silvamurthy is a former distinguished scientist and chief controller, uh, research and development, life sciences and international cooperation at Defence Research and Development Organization, DRDO, Ministry of Defence, Government of India. We welcome you, sir. I welcome Professor Rajendra Prasad, uh, Director of Vallabhai Patel Chest Institute, University of Delhi. I welcome Professor Ra Raj Kumar, Head of the Department of Respiratory Allergy and Applied Immunology and Head of uh, the National Center of Respiratory Allergy, Asthma and Immunology, Vallabhai Patel Chest Institute. Welcome to all. In keeping with our tradition of welcoming our guests, I call on stage Dr. Gurki to present a bouquet to our chief guest, Professor Ian Katovich. I request Dr. Anupriya to present the bouquet to Professor D.K. Gupta. I invite Dr. Devi uh, to present the bouquet to Dr. William Silvamurthy. I request Dr. Nitu to present the bouquet to Professor T.N. Tarnan. Dr. Pooja will present the bouquet to Professor Rajendra Prasad. I invite Dr. Upasana to present the bouquet to Professor Rajkumar. Thank you very much, ladies. I request our chief guest, Professor Liam Katoj, to start the ceremony with the lighting of the lamp. And I will also request the dignitaries of the dais to join me. Personally, on such an occasion, we start with an invocation to the Goddess of Learning, Saraswati. I request students of Pallavi Patel Chest Institute to recite the Saraswati Vandana. <laughs> Heshar Deva, Heshar Deva, Heshar Deva, 
अज्ञानता से हमें तार दे माँ हे शार दे माँ हे शार दे माँ हे शार दे माँ हे शार दे माँ अज्ञानता से हमें तार दे माँ हे शार He is also chairperson, standing technical committee, tuberculosis association of India, and North Zone Task Force for involvement of medical colleges into the revised national tuberculosis control program. He has been an international governor of American College of Chest Physicians, United States, for North India. He has a unique distinction of being president of all major scientific bodies in the field of pulmonary medicine in India. That is National College of Chest Physicians, India, Indian Chest Society, Indian College of Allergy, Asthma and Applied Immunology and Indian Association of Bronchology. Besides holding several prestigious fellowships of repeating national and international organizations, he was elected Fellow of the National Academy of Medical Sciences in uh, India in 2005. He has been awarded numerous awards and orations in recognition of his contribution to the field of pulmonary medicine. Having supervised about 150 researchers and with over 200 publications, numerous books and chapters, Professor Rajendra Prasad possesses nearly four decades of illustrious teaching, research, and administrative experience with proven excellence in quality patient care. Professor Rajendra Prasad, sir. Good morning to all of you. Respected Professor Kathod, Secretary of Government of India and Department of Health Research, Ministry of Health, Family Affairs, and Director of ICMR, who is the chief guest today for this function. Our own respected Professor P. N. Tandon, Honorable Chairman, Governing Body of our Institute. Dr. Selvamurthy, who has been a former distinguished scientist and Chief Controller, Research and Design, DRDO, Defense Ministry, Government of India. Professor D.K. Gupta, who is the Vice Chancellor of KG Medical University, from where you have just heard I have come. Sometimes when I visit KGMC, 
really he has made a great difference. He's a dynamic person, has a very clear vision. Really he has changed the KGMC in the last two years. Dr. Jagdish Prasad, you have heard, he has to come, but he has a very urgent meeting. I see faces, uh, I'm happy that some of our former faculty are here to name few. Professor Randhva, Professor Jain, Professor Prasad, Dr. Fahim, Dr. Raj, Dr. Preet Dhaliwal, Dr. Sareen, Director LRS, Professor Menon is sitting, distinguished faculty who are working today, all the staff of Patel Chest, my dear students, persons from media and press, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Patel Chess Institute, it is my proud privilege and a great pleasure to extend a warm welcome to all of you on this very momentous occasion. We have gathered here today to celebrate the 64th Foundation Day of our Institute and 15th Professor Raman Vishnathan VPCI oration. The foundation stone of this institute was laid down by Sadar Vallabhai Patel on 6th April 1949. The institute was formally inaugurated by Mrs. Rajkumari Amrita Kaur, then Union Health Minister, Government of India on 12th of January 1953. Professor Raman Vishnathan was appointed as a founder director of the institute on 1st July 1957. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, former Prime Minister, in a message on 24th September 1957 said, I quote, it was a brave act of the university to start the VP Chest Institute, unquote. The Clinical Research Center of Institute was inaugurated by no less than Dr. Rajan Prasad, not me. The Golden Jubilee uh, of Institute was celebrated on 6th April 1999 when the decision to organize VPCI oration every year on 6th April was taken uh, and VPCI oration was renamed as Professor Raman Vishnathan uh, VPCI oration as a mark of respect to our founder director of the institute. Dr. Vishnathan was primarily responsible for planning and establishing VPCI, a unique national institute, what I believe, for research and postgraduate training in chest diseases and allied sciences under the administrative control of Delhi University and financial support from Government of India. Formally commissioned in 1953, the VPCI has attained high national and international status over the years to the outstanding contribution made by our predecessors, Professor Vishwanathan, Professor A.S. Painter, Professor Randava, who is, I am fortunate that he is sitting in the audience, Dr. Vijayan, before me with the director and their colleagues in the field of chest medicine, many of them are sitting here today. Professor Vishnathan held the post of director professor VPCI and continued working as emeritus scientist and honorary professor until his last breath. The main objective of uh, VPCI are to conduct research in basic and clinical aspect of chest diseases, to train postgraduate in pulmonary and critical care medicine and allied discipline to develop new diagnostic technology and disseminate scientific knowledge related to chest medicine to other institutions in the country and over and above all to provide specialized investigative and treatment services to patients suffering basically from respiratory diseases. With the support of University and Ministry of Health Government of India, the Institute has been able to strive and thrive to achieve the objective to the cause of society. As on the date, the Institute has made tremendous development in respect of research activity, imparted training to many students and fulfilled the national needs for providing relief to the large number of patients in the community suffering from chest diseases. It has eminently discharged its role and with the efforts of its vibrant faculty, staff and students has earned a unique place in the field of chest medicine. To report one of our main objectives of imparting education, I am happy to inform this is the only institute in the country which undertakes training program students for DM, MD respiratory medicine, other, other subjects MD like microbiology, biochemistry, physiology, pharmacology and DTCD. 
the two year dm and a uh, two two dm students nine md and 10 dtcd students are pursuing their degree from this institute in addition vpsi has also privilege of training phd students in various subjects and nine students were awarded phd last year our students are our, our, our major strength hence this year we have decided to felicitate our students who have passed out during the year 2012 as a gesture of appreciation and recognition we look forward to their contribution to the nation and to the training and knowledge gained through this institute and bring honor to the country the institute also imparted training in personal from the other institute through through various workshop and cme conducted every year the workshop on allergy and immunotherapy was also conducted in sri lanka for the first time in the year 2012 and we have been parted training to many respiratory physicians from bangladesh research in both basic and clinical science is one of the major objectives several research projects have been undertaken by the dynamic faculty of this institute in spite of our strength of only 20 faculty i have been told that 60 research projects amounting over 2 crores are on going on and at present and have been funded by various agencies we had 94 publication in last year to our credit including 57 international one our faculty has been invited to deliver guest lectures at many national and international forums they have also been the honor of being awarded orations and visiting international scholarships with our aim to impart quality patient care our opd attendance has been increasing over years last year we had an opd attendance of nearly 65000 while 4000 patients were admitted to our indoor facility although we have very limited bed an additional more than 70000 17000 patients were provided treatment in emergency we had started a well equipped icu in the year 2006 and uh, around 500 patients were managed in icu last year more than 2000 patients have been benefited from the rehabilitation program in our cardio pulmonary rehabilitation clinic pulmonary function tests are well known services being provided at vpci vpci 20000 pulmonary function tests were performed last year approximately 200 bronchoscopies and over 3000 scans were done at vpci last year in addition for our in patients we have increased the bed strength under the compulsion of mci if otherwise the seats are going to be derecognized we have just increased from 6 beds strength from 60 to 130 an effort are being made to bed to to increase the bed strength to 150 during the current financial year the construction of additional 20 bedded hostel for student has already been initiated vpci has been famous for allergy patients for so many years when i was a student in 70s i used to hear about vpc as far as allergy walk up is concerned so it has been very famous last year approximately 2000 patients underwent allergy testing i am happy to inform that national center for respiratory allergy asthma and immunology was established in january 2011 the aim of this center is to conduct research training various aspects of allergy asthma and their etiopathogenesis diagnosis and treatment i am happy to inform you that the website of this center was launched for public on 27th of december 2012 institute established the national yoga center in the collaboration with morarji desai national institute of yoga in march 2007 the center provides therapy yoga therapy uh, on day to day basis and conducted a workshop on yogic management of pulmonary diseases vpci also has a state of art library library boasts of approximately 10000 books in about 100 national and international journal institute also with the help with the with the collaboration with national college of chest physician has been publishing a quarterly journal the indian journal of chest disease and allied sciences which is in dex one has a wide national and international circulation i will also attempt to improve the networking between labs and clinics 
so that the quality research being carried out in our institute and can be applied to the patient care. As I firmly believe that there should not be disconnect between research and patient care and education. We are thankful to DGISMR who is sitting as our chief guest for initiating a multidisciplinary research unit and it will be our endeavor to start such a facility at VPCI very soon to improve the standards of our research activities. It is also my great desire to start more clinical services for especially for drug resistant tuberculosis which is nowadays a lot of problem. Thoracic surgery we are lacking. We would like to develop telemedicine which will reach and benefit the entire country. That was our aim, one of the mandate for this institute. I would like to initiate uh, the integrated course of md -PSD in future. Looking forward to establish, I am looking forward to establish a research cell and to activate the research advisory board which is already there for augmenting research in this institute. As one of our institute objective is to disseminate scientific knowledge related to the chest and allied medicine, I would like to focus more on continued medical education, especially for in the country we have hardly anything for primary and secondary care doctors. So I would like to start some CME for this so that throughout the country the management of respiratory diseases can be made better. I know I am working with a brilliant and hard-working faculty, I am very well aware. Scientists, staff in this institute. However, a major difficulty in bringing about all the changes what I have proposed that we are working only with, please I will repeat, we are working only with 50% of the faculty, which our chairman is very well aware. I said in our last governing body meeting. And uh, several promotions have not been taken place for a long time in this institute and this is leading to stagnation, dissatisfaction among staff members. But the, most of the staff I get the application, they, they wanted to apply. So these are the discontentment and these are the issues which, which I, have, I have studied in last three, four months. I am confident that with the help of university administration and with the blessing and support of our honorable chairman we will be able to fill up the vacant post and provide promotions to all deserving faculty and staff of this institute i hope that with the cooperation of all our faculty and staff we shall be able to take this institute to even greater heights and shall develop a center of excellence for research training patient care in chess and allied sciences that the entire country can look upon. I would like to end my speech with two couplets which I like very much, would like to share with you and these